friends welcome to cfd for engineers it's about uh, tutorials used for icm and ic script so today we will deal with uh, uh, one problem where uh, it is one kind of prediction here where uh, one side of a cold fluid will move from uh, right to left and from this small tube there is hot tubes so that's why i have created one uh, geometry in which uh, these tubes are there uh, nine tubes uh, in which the cold uh, hot fluid will move so here uh, this uh, this tutorial is aim to uh, generate the mesh in hexahedral uh, one of my uh, subscriber asked me to show one kind of uh, this kind of video where hexahedral mesh can be generated so let's begin with the hexa mesh uh, once you uh, draw the diagram or if somebody imported diagram one need to go for build topology this is build topology when we say apply it will uh, show red and blue lines if somewhere uh, there is a yellow line it means there is a need to patching so one can do that patching operation now we will go for mesh here mesh it is a default global mesh setup uh, in global element scale factor default is 1 you can say apply then uh, directly go for mesh here uh, there are three uh, in this volume mesh there are three option mesh type one is trimix and second is hexa domain and third one is a cartesian we are we are looking today for hexa domain okay select all geometry and say compute you can see uh, it is all hexa yeah, you can see from this view uh, let's say yeah you can see all hexa but at the edge of the circle circular pipe so we try to capture the geometry for that purpose there are some triangulars uh, tetra tetral part is there but otherwise uh, in most of the part it is hexa if you look at in another uh, view now you can see in this view all hexas are there so it is one of the way by which one can do hexahedral mesh uh, in icm fluent and uh, you can uh, reduce the size you can go for again instead of uh, scale factor 1 you can say 2 you can find out how much minimum and maximum elements so so total elements are 18 0 23 total nodes 1 6 1 3 8 so i will do again mesh with global scale factor 2 so complete so the mesh size is increased means uh, uh, the number of elements is reduced and number of node is also reduced by by changing the global scale factor so it means this scale factor if uh, we write from 1 to 2 then mesh will increase you can see uh, sorry mesh size will be more uh, reduced now i what i will do i will say 0 0.5 then we will see this number whether it will increase or decrease so say apply then i will go for compute compute mesh 
reducing the scale factor one can increase the you can see here yeah. so likewise you will get a mesh so it's hexa mesh okay. so you can edit this mesh before edit say apply create subset